And have you taken a photo yet? A photo? Yes. You were going to show me a photo of you and your girlfriend for the prediction. Oh, yeah, right. Sure, but I'm afraid it's not romantic enough. Show me. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Is that your girlfriend? I hope you are not planning to have any children. Look, just read the future, okay? All right. I think I'm beginning to see something. What? What's that? A feedback loop? Quick! Take it away! 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 Hello? Is this still part of the prediction? Ugh, how creepy. Uh, hello? Hmm. What? Oh, 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 excuse me. I must have nodded off. <laughs> A little late night, huh? Who would have thought they'd throw such good Goa rave parties out in the backwoods? <laughs> I can do better than that. I look fantastic. But Gold just had to make a face. No, it's supposed to be a surprise. Women love surprises. Score of zero. You never get on the boat of love like that, son. No, it's supposed to be a surprise. Women love surprises. She has the face, she has the talent, she just still has a few problems on the catwalk. No flash photography, please. Unless I'm having a vision. Then I can? Sure. Then it would be <laughs> a photo session. Oh, brother. Look, show me. <laughs> what? Is I oh, uh, oh, quick. oh. Uh, is this? <laughs> Smile. And now very mysterious. I want to feel the vision. And now, like you just suffered a mishap. So, I think I got everything I wanted to see. It was a pleasure working with you. The future is a little fuzzy. Uh, hello? Hmm, what? Oh, 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 excuse me. I must have nodded off. <laughs> a little late night, huh? Who would have thought they'd throw such good Goa rave parties out in the backwoods? <laughs> it was a pleasure working with you. So you need a vision. Well, here's one you can have. Aha! I can't make out anything. I know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know it's blurred. See, that's the temporal jet lag. The last time I slept is uh, in 10 hours. Don't get me wrong. I think it marvelous. Being explicit only makes you vulnerable. It looks like a tunnel out of one and the same picture. You can't make out where it stops or where it begins. That has something to do with a feedback loop. 
Yeah, perfection. I think I now know what the final commandment should be. Now, I just need a way to carve it in stone without violating the never carve anything in stone clause. Here, take my chisel. I have no need for it anymore. Washable watercolors? Perfect. Now I can finally complete the last commandment. Hey, boys. Something's going on up there. Hey, has he chiseled his beard to something again? No, it's a new commandment. Really? What does it say? The last thing I will tell you, son, the show must certainly go on. Wow. And that's what we've been waiting for all this time? I'm so disappointed. You also have a sudden desire to go back to Heldica to massacre religious zealots? We should definitely reconsider reconsidering our lives. Exactly. The show must certainly go on. You said it. Here, here. Hey there. Are you talking to us? You need a job? I can think of one. Let's hear it. We've been gathering dust for long enough. To be honest, I don't really know if it's up your alley. It's about to search for a ring. Go on. A beast has stolen it and fled with it into the depths of a labyrinth. Well, we have certainly accepted worse questions. Certainly better than that promo job for baby food at Wrigley's. What are we waiting for? The time has come, my faithful companions. Too long have we allowed the powers of darkness to spread death and terror. Are you ready to raise your swords for the final all-important battle? Is that thing over there supposed to be the labyrinth? I'll interpret that as an enthusiastic charge! Are you ready for the battle to end? For the fight? For the cream of all creams? For the punch of all duties? Hey, we haven't spoken about our reward yet. For glory and honor! Did he say glory or slotty? We'll have to chance it. The ring in his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hat guy, the other guy, and... Did I forget anyone? Yeah, no, okay. Don't move! Wait! 
What are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest. Oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a Band-Aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If Whoa! you miss the water, don't forget to roll. Oh, ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? Oh, look, Monsieur has finally decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it, after you almost managed to kill me? Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't a bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And now look in the mirror. So, what's your plan? Porta Rustica is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gold and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Just a minute. I'll wait for the... We both have so much going on. And... Oh, Rufus, wherever did you get this precious trinket? I picked it up on Elysium. <laughs> you charmer. Right? Okay, let's do this. Uh, nothing works here. Looks like something's missing. Bride is giving me the finger, and it isn't the one a ring goes on. Almost better than the original. At least this one's smiling. You always meet twice. There's a photo wall up near the front entrance. Huh. If you come with me for a second, we can take a picture to prove how much we're in love. And what will happen if it transpires that we aren't? Yeah, I don't trust that machine much either. But I'm prepared. I'm working on a plan to let us outsmart the machine. You want to cheat the love test? Not that I need to, but uh, <laughs> you think better. I beg your pardon? D don't panic. Trust me. I don't know. I hardly know you. Perhaps the whole thing has been a mistake. It looks like I don't know you as well as I thought either. The goal I know is always cheerful and adventurous. Not a wet blanket like you. Well, you'd better have your photo taken with her then. that was an option. Wait a minute. It is an option, but that doesn't make any sense. Huh, that's pretty silly. Ah, what the heck. For love! Get a star from the heavens. Check. OK. 
okay? Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. Cheese. Hey, boys, good news. I've managed to persuade Pimpy. Ah, uh, Gold, this uh, might look strange, but uh, Is that supposed to be me? What sort of perverted games are you playing here? I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's it's part of my plan to... Uh, I, I don't want to know. Just, the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. Is just like the sea, baby, just as deep and as wide, I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous eels, and terrors completely unknown. Lurking. Honey. Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually, my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it! Quiet at the kitty table. The adults are talking. Psst. Rufus, that's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Senior. Senior? <laughs> Vice Senior is probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chrono particle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay. 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Mamoo, Boo! Pants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk, either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that, and worked on a real time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. What we're missing here is an underpaid assistant. Shouldn't be hard. 
Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, mommy. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? That's a temporal anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. And what is that? Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. Like in all of my favorite movies. Alf, Four, The Miscarriage, Cowboy Dodo, and the Alien Blockheads. Or Space Teddies, Kidnapper's Caravan. Gold, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm interrupting your lecture. But you, you can't do that. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it, then? Have me fail the exam? I'm trying to restore time here. The time when it's alleged that I've fallen in love with you. No, thanks. Can you at least take your feet off the table and take your hat off? You're undermining my authority as a teacher. What's with the silly get-up, anyway? Take a guess. I've made myself my own tinfoil hat, so that I will always remember what a complete and total idiot you are. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Eh, stubborn as a stop sign. Hey, I found the scaffold. It flows downhill, but it flows. What are you doing? What does it look like? Oh, of course. You couldn't know. Oh, of course you couldn't know. It looks like two blind chickens wandered into the field. Further proof, if it were needed, that eyesight counts for nothing. We are professionals in our field. Uh-huh. Hitting the old junk ball? Battering smart asses. Oh. Don't worry. He hasn't completed his training yet. That's why he's using the training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather that it rains candy? No. But that doesn't hurt, right? The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. It seems to be the university mascot. In professional circles, this kind of thing is called boomerang understatement. Huh. Photos of baby wombats. The pony of four walk through for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. share my lunch with me. That part of the puzzle was easy. Now all I have to do is find the... What are you doing here? You should be lecturing. I just wanted to stretch my legs. Then stretch them back to the lecture hall. And don't come back until the bell is rung. Go on then. Hop to it.
Somehow, I doubt that you'll help me. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the Black Belt in the arts of love. I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No, we didn't know that. Moo moo. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. You want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. The plant smells like Lonzo's back root. That's already abnormal enough. What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old! Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. I think I'll just keep my stuff that minimizes the damage. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worm. That's already abnormal enough. Let's see if this can motivate him. On. Me, me, me. Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. We're now inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 mo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting. Underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? <laughs> Yippee, school's out. Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Damn, the anomaly is blocking the exit, but at least I'm not losing any time while I'm trapped in here. Platypuses can be allowed to get wet, at least as long as you don't feed them after midnight. Oh, just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. And? Were you able to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless Firebrand. Firebrand? 
He always seemed to me to be so careful, downright boring. Yeah, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. Birds don't need warning signs. They're free! Free! And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. Ha <laughs> ha! It is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. Off. That's the key to Junior's laboratory. The whole place is contaminated with crazy ideas. You smoke? Not anymore. Although on days like this, I wish I'd never quit. I, I, isn't that a little unreasonable at your age? The nicotine chewing gum was worse. Destroyed all my baby teeth. It is so a pipe. Just what I need right now. Oh, strong stuff, this tobacco. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my college days. We were so crazy back then. So, Lala Cuckoo! <laughs> this is very good for us. We experimented with everything. <laughs> With women, of course. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McCronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business in the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. I was already 25. <laughs> may I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! Psst! McDiaper pants! Your father is distracted. We can go! Go without me. He's right. I need to think about my errors. No, he isn't. There are temporal anomalies. I know. We created them, and as a result, ruined everything. Why, and your plan is to give up now? When everything is at its worst? Don't you understand? It's always at its worst. This here is no loop. It's a downward spiral. Locked. <sighs> and it... Oh boy, this looks just a touch more complicated to me. Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. As long as the tank is empty, no pressure can be built there. Yeah, this is nothing but waste oil. Somehow I had expected liquid bronze. Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. 